It's day 71 of the oil disaster in the Gulf and no end in sight with millions of barrels of oil still spilling into the Gulf waters. Today, UGA marine scientist Dr. Samantha Joy says the issues the oil spill is causing are deeper than just the ocean surface as excessive amounts of gas continue to seep into the water. There's not enough oxygen in the water to consume the gases. That means that the gases are going to spread out and occupy larger volumes of water before they can be consumed completely. Dr. Joy says microorganisms in the water will continue to feed off the gases, but not fast enough as larger marine life will begin to feel the impact. She says if there is any good news, though, she thinks many animals will protect themselves. The fish that are in the water would probably flee it um, right. if the oxygen gets down to a level that's a problem for them. So, you know, the chances of killing large numbers of fish is 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 probably small, I would think. Now, what exactly is going to help all of this gas that's permeating the ocean right now? Well, Dr. Joy says that once BP does put in this top kill method that they say they're going to have done by August, that should kind of help level things off. But she says that they won't know those numbers till about three and a half months after the top kill method is successful. In Athens, Laura Ashley Harris, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.